Got a one, a two, a three, and a hay now. Metal mic coming at you. Unloading. So first off, get this old antique office chair out of there. Now this is going to need some cleaning up. This has got a break in it. It's missing a few screws. See right here? Nothing too fancy for an old office chair, but the legs are intact, and this is what I love about it. This is why I got it, is that. That base on there is really special to me. I like it. Cast iron. I mean, look at that. That alone is worth what I paid for it. I think I got uh, the chair and a couple other items, 10 bucks. So we got that there. Got this great picture here. So you'll be able to see it of this old uh basically it's a trike just put together hodgepodge junkyard trike somebody's just in an old frame gotta love it that'll go in the private collection an old viking tenant i got a buddy that's a vikings fan so that one's got a couple signatures on it it's got uh try to see if i can remember ed white so we got a, a crate of uh, albums here got a michael jackson for the daughter that'll be special but what's really good in here let's see what is really good in here we got this nice mattel the room tow truck and it looks to be in pretty good condition it pumps up the i think the arm lifts on it really unique truck not a very common one and like i said made out of plastic missing one of the rims right here hopefully i'm getting that all in the shot uh, it has a siren, an idle, and a motor. That's the, old, the motor. Here's the idle. Siren. Pretty unique. It's dated, uh, what do we got on it? No year on it, but it's louder than I am. That was one of the scores. Too. kickstand it looks to be complete it's just darling you know a little bit of elbow grease I get the rust off of those fenders and you know you don't these old these smaller ones don't bring as much bang for your buck but the Schwinn Pixie here with the original tag at the very least is still on there it looks to be just all original which is a plus so I'll clean that up a little bit if I had training wheels on it it'd be great for the daughter so Here is the hood ornament I got off the Pontiac with the Indian head. Pretty good. There's no brakes on it that I can see anyway. I hope not. Real nice piece. Not too much pitting on it. So overall, really nice shape. Great Art Deco. You know, maybe this can pay for everything. But those are one of those pieces I tell you about, about picking up and just holding on to. Don't have a lot into it. So, here's a stack of the vinyl. Let's take a look real quick. Now, like I said before in the video I shot earlier, a lot of this is banged up. You know, but we just scooped it up. Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper, Def Leppard. The Halens, Pink Floyd can be, you can bring some pretty good uh, money on eBay. Zeppelin, uh, a Beatles. This is this is a nice one though. So it's in the shrink. If the if the album's in good condition, that one right there could cover the cost of all these albums I bought here. And there's some Kiss. This one looked unique. I've never heard of them. Do a little research on them. Frigid Pink. Beat up Kiss. Beat up Kiss. This one's great. Kiss Dynasty, no poster. Damn. Peter, of course his poster's in there. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Another Floyd. These are always good if they're in good condition. White Snake, White Lion, White Snake. An empty Zeppelin. A pitiful Skinnerd. Pitiful as in good. And just a big stack here of Van Halen. Judas Priest. 
And then, like I said, I got some Maiden over here. Got a Michael Jackson book, an old Fleetwood Mac that looks like it came from Savers, Zeppelin, Born Again, Score, uh, Stones, pretty rough, but still a nice score. A couple Ozzies, there's the Maiden, a Zeppelin, I think it's empty, but this is good, very clean, still in the shrink. Not a lot of Bane there, but still, not bad. So, that's where we're sitting at right now. there. Ugh. Time is my enemy right now. So I want to just get this stuff kind of unloaded. So here's that guitar that I paid 20 for. Now, this is nothing that's going to make any money for the family, but the kids can bang on it. It's just an old Japanese. Look at that. Single coil pickups. It's a Kent. It's not broken. But it's just a nice starter guitar. Vintage, well made compared to today's starter guitars. You know, it's definitely, I got 20 bucks into it. I can easily double my money with the case or let the daughter have it to bang on. Where are we at? We are whittled down. This is it. Down to the final. Horrible camera shots and all. Got the nice Farrah Fawcett mug. Had to scoop that, right? And for 10 bucks. up. Nice Art Deco vintage mirror. No chips on it. I can use that in the basement. So that's a plus. Don't chip it or break it in the meantime. So I think that's pretty good. I just got to fit this in here somehow. Alrighty guys, we are wrapping it up. You know me. So I never think you've seen into the bunker from this angle before. <laughs> that is the bunker. As we approach it, you can see these are the windows I picked up in the alley last week. Um, I think there's what, a total of six or more, maybe uh, eight. And these are great for the flea market or when I'm building my cabin in the back. So. Got boxes for shipping. As I squeeze through the hoard, as you can see, there's those lamps I accumulated. There's that cha chair I've already got it unloaded. And then there, there's the pit, the bunker. So if I'm back here, and I'm just relaxing with the garage bunker open. That's the length of the bunker to give you an idea. It's probably about, geez, almost, maybe you could fit three modern cars in here. Maybe, for sure too. If you had three modern, very small ones, it's feasible. So that's it. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna get my ugly mug out of your face. And I am gonna go hit the alleys. I probably spent at that guy's house, God. On the stuff that I unloaded right there, I bet you I spent 160, 180. And uh, you know, I'll figure it out later. I'll break it down really good when I'm going through it. I got 10 bucks on the, on the bike. The albums, I gave him 125 for the albums. He really was a stickler with that uh, that Pontiac. I really kind of ended up paying out on that. That was the piece that he wanted a lot for. And that's it, guys. That's all we got, brother. Hey, now.